I'm more interested to speak about, you know, you said you're a Christian, right? Yes, I'm a Christian. And I'm more interested to understand your understanding of Christianity, your understanding of Jesus. Yes. Can, you know, share it? Well, I was originally, when I was born, I was baptized as an Orthodox Christian. Okay. And then I realized that uh, the Orthodox Christianity is a, is a religion with regulations and I needed to have a relationship with Jesus. Okay. So I, I asked the Lord, mm -hmm. I, I prayed to Him and uh, I was reborn again as a Christian. And uh, we believe, as a Christians, we believe that God uh, set Himself in the form of God of Son in human flesh. And he lived a perfect, sinless life, from the born to the death. Okay. And then he was raised after three days. You often study the Bible or just your personal experience? Well, it's referred to the Bible. No, have you studied it by yourself? Sorry? Have you studied it by yourself? Of course, I've studied the Bible. Uh, the But the there, there are some statements in the Bible which doesn't say Jesus is purely sinless. Yeah, I've heard this from when I, when I debate the Muslims here in Speaker's Corner. So they they like to use the phrase such as the uh, my father is greater than I. No no no. The, 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 there are statements in the Bible which prove Jesus, peace be upon him, wasn't completely sinless. He he was. Uh, why why you as a Muslim no. uh, think okay. that Jesus was sinless? We have the different definition of sins. Okay, we we believe that every uh, son of Adam is a yeah. sinner, and the best okay. of them is one who repents. Mm. So there are minor sins, there are major sins, which call it, you know, uh, in Islamic terminologies. But we don't believe that he committed major sins, mm. but we do believe there are some statements. We, okay, we don't believe because no, there's no such thing in the Quran, but based on the Bible. Mm. For example, calling someone you evil in elder's generation, it's not something good. So in Islamic terms, we said there's a sin. This is my point. So we say that's a sin, but that's a claim to the Bible. But what I want to say, let's talk about the relationship, and that's the most interesting part. You think to have a good relationship to God is the only part, part is a Christianity? Well, uh, we as a Christians, of course, we have a relationship with God, because uh, we appreciate what God did when He sacrificed Himself uh, on the cross. God, God sacrificed Himself? Uh, yes. Can you, hear, can you hear yourself? Yes. God sacrifices himself. Yes. Just repeat yourself again. No, you're no, you're trying to change. No, 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 I, I'm not. Trust me. Let me tell you. My intention here is not to prove my own egos and to prove how the arguments that I have. No, wallahi, they don't such thing. Wallahi. But I just, I say wallahi. When a Muslim say wallahi, you know, it can't be a joke. I just want to understand. You just did. You just say that God sacrificed no, himself. Mean, God the Son. Sacrifice. So, son is a God the then. Jesus say, "I and my Father are one." Okay, so that means God sacrificed Himself. <sighs> no, it's okay. Leave it. I don't want to leave you like answerless or speechless. Forget about that. We 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 stick to relationship part. Yes. If you are speaking about relationship, trust me, Islam is a religion which is. I can say the only religion which gives the nearest relation to the Almighty God, there's no someone, there's no one in the middle. But in Christianity, you have a lot of people in the middle in order to have a relationship with God. So which model do you prefer? I'm saying to only relationship, not the you know the other thing we can talk about. We believe that we must have a relationship with yes. Jesus. Got it. Which is uh, But Jesus is God. Yes, he is God. The but Almighty. then if he was God, again, you are creating more problems and solutions. If he was God, then again, God was dead, and you know, then who are having a relationship well, with if God was dead? Well, how can you prove that uh, Allah is God in the Quran? Excellent, that's a different question. Okay. I will definitely come to that part. But since, as a human being, you said relationship, and I'm really interested in that relationship. Mm. But what I want to tell you, in Islam, the, the worship model in Islam, the relationship in Islam is much more stronger. Mm. And you feel more... To closer to God than any other model that you follow in any other religion. For example, in Islam, we don't have third person in middle for us to have a relationship with Almighty God. I I understand. Do you agree with that? So if you are going for a relationship, 
and you said the basic reason for you to come back to Christianity and you were reborn kind of thing. Yes. The main reason was a human relationship. You wanted a relationship with God, right? Yes. If that model you're following, mm. then I would suggest Islamic model is the best. Mm. I haven't said something else. The model I'm talking about, right? Because what Islam says is, it's you and God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm. We prostrate to him and we ask directly. And we speak to him. Like the Quran, he speak to us in the prayer. You know, we speak to him. Mm. So, which model do you prefer in terms of relationship? You know, in terms of relationship. Well, as I said, in terms of the relationship, I, I love being in the relationship with God. Excellent. Do you follow Christian model of relationship or Islamic model of relationship? Uh, relationship with God. It's not about uh, Christianity or any no, other no. religion. I, I'm not, I haven't said about the religion, whether it's true or false. No, I have not brought up any of those arguments. What I'm saying is the model of relationship. Which one would you prefer as a human being? Forget about any other terms. As a human being. As a human being, I prefer the relationship with Jesus. With, that's all I can say. Again. Because so you are saying, you pre I, I said relationship with God. I'm not relationship with Jesus. Mm. Because again, understanding of you and me about proper Jesus is different. Mm. But I'm saying in general terms, which model of relationship will you follow? Relationship of Christians that they are suggesting or relationship that Islam is suggesting? Which one? Well, according to your terms, then uh, I would prefer the motto of uh, Christians. Yeah. Okay, explain to me why. Well, the answer is in the Bible. And what is the answer? Well, uh, I do not understand uh, why you don't accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. No, you said um, you're going to give me an answer, but you asked me a question. You believe in a different relationship, and I can prove that if you want. I think you have done some homework, and I'm speaking yes. to you as a human being from heart to heart, you know? I have not come up with some, you know, pre like Zach and I versus it's Chapman right, and all those right. things. I can do that, I can definitely do that. I can leave you answerless, but that's well, not the point. My point is... I always is, come with facts when I no, argue. I have all, so. you know, if you want to go to fact, of course, you know, we have facts in the pocket everywhere, no worry. Well, no, I want to talk about relationship. Yes. Because I really like... This is the part of the relationship, actually. I'm coming okay. to the part. And okay. we can go to that. No problem. We can definitely go to that part yes. as well. But what I'm saying you... Uh, sorry, I forgot your name. Alex. Alex. You know, in Christianity, uh, due respect, I'm not insulting anyone religion, right? Mm. The model of relationship is extremely complicated. Mm. And sometimes does not even make sense. For me, it, with due respect, you might have similar opinion about Islam, you know? Well, that's not the Quran, that's the Quran teaches love and relationship with I'm, Allah. I'm coming to the point now. Allah, let me mm. speak and I'm going to definitely Does the Quran to say that? I will definitely answer that question, but if you let me finish that part. What the Christian model of relationship is, in order for you to have a relationship with God, first you have to admit that you are a sinner. A sinner. Yes, it's true. That's one. The because second we is... We were all born uh, sin. Uh, we because will come to that part. We, we will come to that part, right? Now, the second model they're suggesting, in order for you to have relationship with God again, you have to go through Jesus. Yeah. And then you have to accept Holy Ghost. Yes, the, the Holy Spirit, have to, the God the, the Son and the God the Father, the Trinity. Good. So there's a lot of people in the middle. And again, the first model is itself it's kind of like, can I go and catch any Briton man and just beat him up because of the grandfather's sin? He colonized Africa, and can I do that? He bombed my own country, Afghanistan, can I do that? Just yes or no? Yes uh, or no? Just yes or no? Forget yes. About. Can I just go and beat any British man because what, he bombed I, my country? I didn't understand the question, sorry. If can I go and take any child, yes. and, and, and a British child, yes. and slap him, beat him up because no, his father? Of course. We condemn violence in the Good. Bible. Good. Then why you are suggesting violence as, as a believer? We don't condemn violence of a believer. No. Why are you suggesting, like you know, there's a there's a pre-made sin on you because even you didn't do it. We we inherited the sin. From Adam. If the father inherited to the son, can father enter sin to the uh, son? If father commit a crime, can you? No, son because there? son is God in the human flesh. No, no, he can, he, I'm not he saying that. Be sin. No, no, for, 
What I'm saying so, is, if I committed a crime, yes, can you hold my son accountable? Yes. I committed a crime. And can you hold my son accountable? Yes, you can must be a, accountable for your My crime. son. Sorry? My son. Your son? Yes. Well, your, did your son do anything? No, he didn't do anything. He's an innocent well, two-year-old child. It's according to who does the crimes. So I, no, let's I, talk about you didn't. The, the can can we finish this conversation? We will definitely come to the paper. I I no. appreciate what you're doing, but I okay. Want no, no. What, what I want to appreciate. Let's forget about it. Okay. But I want to say to you. I want to invite you. I see he's a good human being, and you are a good person. Yeah, I've heard this uh, motivation. No, 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 no. From forget Afri about motivation. Mutawa teams and uh, no, I'm not asking you to because you no, guys no. talk about uh, <laughs> no. the, oh, we believe in all prophets and uh, no, no, no. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to ask you to do some some of your homework. Just what you did here. I'm going to give you homework, and you do it. No, it's okay. No, 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 no. Let me let, let, let me let me give him the homework. Let him speak. No. You know, we can talk about this off the camera, on the camera, well, it's okay. Let me give one homework. Can I do that? One homework. Okay. Good. Can you go home and research your own into Islam? No, forget about research. Don't do that. Okay. What's your point? It seems like you already have pre-made answers for yourself. When you're comfortable and you're in peace, just sit with yourself and do not mention Allah. Do not mention Islam. Do not mention Christianity. And just go on prostration just like Jesus did, Matthew and all. Yeah. Even if you can't do that, forget about it. Just sit with yourself, at least for some time, and ask God. And name it as a creator of the universe. Name it as a designer of the universe. Name it as something else. You know? Give him all the attributes. Yeah, lead me to the straight path. And no, can you just let stuff. me finish? Again, you have pre-made homework. <laughs> Instead of writing on computers oh. and preparing yourself how to debate people, you do this. Trust me, it will help you more as a human being than going and doing some Google research and coming yeah. back, either, you know, practicing your ego or... Do you see my point? Yeah. You do that. And inshallah, I did not say, I did not suggest it, go and ask Allah. Not inshallah means if God wills. Yes. So it's not true. It might be true, it might be true, no, no. or it might be not. As a Muslim, I say if God wills, right? And it's a good thing, and it's the same goes to... So now what's your homework? Can you do that as a homework? Uh, of course I will do. Okay, excellent. With all sincerity. I... Of course. No, no, the way you say it... Uh... <laughs> nothing but the truth. I take the off. No, again, I did not, I, I'm telling you, forget about everything I've been told. Just do this. All right. Can you do that? Yes. And whatever they come in front, will you accept it? Like, be open about it for it. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but... Uh, so that means you're, true, you're already... I might accept it. If it's true in the fact. Okay, excellent. I wish you all the best. So do you want to come to the paper now or something? Yes. Okay. I... As you know, I'm part of the DSSI. I don't even know what's it's that. A, it's a Christian group. And uh, we come here to preach the gospel of Christ. And we come here to save the Muslims. Save the Muslims? Yes. Save, from, save them from what? Save from the Quran. Save, so, them, save, save them from the Quran. So for the viewers, let's talk about the deity of the Quran no why don't you talk to me because I can cut that video later you know no problem <laughs> the better you talk to me yeah, all the, all the <laughs> no. so, that's what I'm saying if you instead of talking to them yeah. you can talk to me yeah yeah why not so we will talk about the Quran as an intercessor uh-huh as but but you, wait a minute before we come to the you said you want to save Muslim from the Quran yes and give them what in return the eternal life in heaven. Okay, like it's the, because how? the eternal life of God. Are you heaven, selling the ticket or something? It's the gift of God when he when he sacrificed himself. You you are g giving a superficial wording, brother. No, give I'm me not. some uh, hard words which you're saying through what? Why are you trying to change the topic? No, I'm not trying to. You so made the point. I want to talk about you, the Quran, your book. Excellent, you can talk about which, it. You made the point. To your terms, no, no, no. The word at, of Allah, at, at the right? beginning, you said. That you want to save Muslims, correct yes. or not? Because you want to save Muslims and give them we, what? We care about every Christ. Muslim in this earth. We don't okay. want it to that, be. Thank helped. you for doing that. So, but 
Through what? What do you want to give them and from what the do you want to save The truth is them? in the Bible. Aha! Uh -huh. The Bible is the final authority of God. Excellent. Of God of Israel. Good. Of God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Okay. So Now you tell me uh, that we want to answer the first part then we come to the Quran, right? Yes. You want to save them from the Quran? Of course. And give them the Bible. Because the Quran is eventually as predicted in the book of Revelation, mm -hmm. the work of the devil. The work of the devil. Okay, now let's talk about the Bible first. Yes. Let's you talk think about the Bible it. is the word of God? Yes. And what's the evidence? The evidence is in the Quran. It was written... You First you want to save Muslim from the Quran and then they're suggesting as an evidence the Quran... I'm sorry, I... I, I Excuse I, me? No, 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 no. I, I thought, uh, <laughs> sorry, my, wait, wait, wait. the Bible, the Quran, sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. You are agreeing with Quran. Yeah, I Again, you are, you are agreeing with Quran. Yeah. No, you want to save I Muslim from the Quran, and then you are yes. referencing the Quran. How? Oh, Let's talk about the Quran. No, no, I, again, no, you no. were giving the different point. I'm talking about, about the Bible, then no, the Quran. No, no, we will talk, okay. because you want to save Muslim from the Quran. So, so Quran is already evil, then why do you want to talk about it? Now the door is Bible. You just talk about the Bible. Okay, let's talk about okay. the Bible then. So, the Bible, as I Wait, say... One second, uh, I don't want to interrupt you, yeah? Um, there is a question from him and from us Muslims. Yes. In the Bible, show me where Almighty God himself said that the Bible is my revelation, my book came for the whole humanity. I'll give you something in the Quran. One second, brother. One second. Allah said this Quran is from Allah, there is no doubt in the Quran. Mm. This is a book from Allah, guided from mankind. Mm. Give me this kind of words where God himself said that no, the no, Bible we... is from God, no doubt, it's a guidance from mankind. Just one word in the complete Bible where God says his book. So now saving, this is, you can answer definitely, I want, I'm more than saving, you know. The, the Bible talks about when can Jesus answer him, like, resurrected, sorry, any quick will lead, like, you know? Yes, directly. Jesus said to, to spread the gospel around the world. No, no, Jesus sir, said to the disciples. You, show me in the Bible well, one word like, where God said that honest, the Bible is my revelation, my but, book. But well, if you are Muslim and you believe in the angel, in the original Bible, why don't you research the Bible? And, okay, so the, okay, now, so, the Bible so you believe that the, the, the Injil is the Bible? You According to you Muslims, where is the Injil that you're talking it's about? Lost. Because it is lost. If you claim that the book is no, no. corrupted... Okay, fine. We're going to go to a different topic. Let's talk about saving, bro. Okay, Good. let's talk about saving. Because... Salvation. Uh, I, I don't want to... No, no, you said it. Quran is all evil. And yes. now it's a duty upon us good human beings yes. to guide the Muslims and save them from the heaven, hell and bring them to the Jesus or through Bible. Correct? That's what you said. Yeah, but you're trying to to say it. Uh, over. No, I just I just said it like passionately, bro. <laughs> that's it. So do you believe that? That's what you want to say. Yes, now I believe you in that. Talk about it? I surely believe in that. Excellent. You can people can believe on spaghetti monster. You know, we can't do anything with that. So you believe Bible is the savior, correct? Yes. And what's the evidence? The evidence is in the Bible. You should research it. And what is the evidence? The evidence is there, of course. What is the evidence? Uh, no, no, you're trying to, to change. No, what I'm trying to change, I'm simply asking what is the evidence? Switch the question to him as well. You know, you have to use them tricks. <laughs> no, you that well, switch that question no. To him. I, no, where is the, the he, evidence in the Quran which exactly. shows, which shows uh -huh. that... Uh, but you must answer. Do that after too. That to give him you know what I mean? You have to yeah. Well, <laughs> Yeah. It's not a game, no. You're not playing game. If you cannot answer, so far, you say, I no, no. don't know. What, what? And ask him the same question. Lame yeah, Excellent. I know. So good. So now you're gonna, you, you got a training a from that. You know what I mean? He's not what, questioning you. What I say, you know, so far, I was not even focusing on the scriptures. We were focusing on a human relationship with Almighty God. And on that front, you agreed to do some of the homework. And then you took out some homework paper and you made a statement that I'm saving Muslims from the yes. Quran and guiding them to Almighty God through Bible. And of course, it's my right to ask, Can explain I? to me Bible. So now he failed to explain it. It's, he should agree that, yes, I failed to explain it. Yeah, if, if you don't know, you don't know. You, so don't, yeah. know you don't know. Uh, you don't know, you don't know. If he doesn't know, then how can he claim that I want to save Muslims and bring them to the Bible? Then how can he claim that? Do you see inconsistency in his speech as well? How can he claim that then? Then if you don't know your own Bible, then how do you know the Quran is bad? 
just because you t copy a paper from the internet? It's not from the internet. It's I've from you. It. Then why didn't you research the Bible? Quran. Please prove to the Muslim the Bible is true. Explain to me, right? I ask you one word to show me where God said no. the Bible is my book. Just no, one at least word. forget about that. If you can do research to prove the Quran is evil, then at least you have done a little bit of research to prove that the Bible is true. Do you see the inconsistency in your own work? But I'm gonna end it up on the point you do your homework, go home, go on prostration, ask the creator of the entire universe, just say it, oh, oh Almighty, guide me to true path. Correct? I have not suggested you anything else, your own homework. It's done, Alex. Your favorite line. I want, I want <laughs> I to say that it seems care about you and you will go to hell. I, I you will perish. Okay, give me evidence. How? The evidence how? in the Bible. Show me. I don't have to show it. It's there. How you right? know I will go to hell? So how? The I'm Bible asking you. All the Muslims will go to hell. Even the... Sorry? How you know we will go to it's hell? It's okay. I, I, I really don't want to put the brother down whatsoever. You know, my, you know I love you. I love you too. That's and what I, Jesus taught I'm, 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 I'm showing my love in practice. You're telling me you are following something wrong, and I'm <laughs> oh, telling you, wherever it is, no, he's not lost. He's not lost. He's a good brother. You choose your word carefully. He, he's a good brother, Alex. He's, he's not lost. He's taking the truth of the yes. No, no, no. Good to speak to you. Good to speak to you. I'm so sorry, but no, you don't have to. If if I've offended you, no, you haven't offended. If I've, I'm really sorry for that. If I've offended you. I love you too. Yeah. And I love you too because I, I don't want to give you something because I don't want to be in a position where yeah. I defend myself, you defend yourself, yeah. you know? know. I want to be in a position where we can connect as a human yeah. being. Civil conversation. Yes, we want to connect as a human being. Yeah. And the best thing you start is a relationship with Almighty God. Yeah. And follow that. And the best you can follow is to have your personal subjective experience. Yeah. And when you have that, and you definitely follow it. And forget about these papers, and forget about speaking corner and debating with people. It's not going to benefit you. At the end of the day, as a human being, it's not going to help you. That's my point, bro, yeah? Good to speak to you, bro. Good to speak to you. Thank you. Thanks so much.